A lawsuit filed by survivors of the Oxford school shooting revealing new insight into the chaotic moments as that shooter opened fire. The suit also squarely places blame on school employees who they claim just didn't do enough to stop it. Local 4 defender Sean Lay is live tonight to help break it down for us. Sean. Well, the suit names the dean of students at Oxford schools, the principal, two counselors and three teachers. The aim and the details of this lawsuit, they're accusing all of them of violating the state's Child Protection Act. The mother of student John Assi Yudo is suing on behalf of her sons, John and Anthony, joining father John Vaccaro suing on behalf of his son, Marco. Both John and Marco survived the shooting, but here's their account according to their lawsuit, stating that Ethan Crumley first shot a student in the bathroom and then shot several female students in the hallway. The suit reads, quote, and then he turned his gun toward John Assi Yudo and Marco Vaccaro. Noticing them, E.C. Ethan Crumley shot at both. He struck John Asiuto in the left buttock and missed Marco Vaccaro, who saw several bullets strike into the hallway wall. Both were able to run out of the building. John's brother, Anthony, hid terrified in a classroom with others for an hour. The suit named school counselor Sean Hopkins, who testified in a hearing focused on Ethan Crumley's parents yesterday, that he was concerned that Ethan Crumley was being neglected by his parents after they were informed of their son's alarming behavior the day of the shooting. You did not file a 3200 form with Child Protective Services alleging that there was a suspicion mom and dad weren't getting him proper medical attention. I did that. The suit reads Hopkins and other school officials violated the state's Child Protection Act, failing to act as mandatory reporters of neglect to Child Protective Services. I asked Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald if she'll pursue criminal charges against Hopkins and others. I do not see a criminal case against any school employee. Now, we reached out to the attorney who filed this suit to speak with him and also the families involved here as well as Oxford Schools. We've yet to hear back. We'll let you know as soon as we do. We're live tonight. Sean Lane, Local 4. Yeah, okay. Sean, thank you.